Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. So today we're going to be looking at the greater function on Power Automate. We're going to start with a variable of number, which is an integer variable, and we're going to assign the number of 5. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create our function greater and we're going to pass in our variable of number. So we're going to pass in 5 and then we're going to pass in another parameter which is 3. So this is effectively saying is 5 greater than 3? Is the first number we pass in greater than the second number we pass in? And in this case 5 is greater than 3 so we get a true result back. So let's take a look at that in a reverse order. So we still have our variable number of 5. We're passing our variable into our greater function, but then we're passing in the digit of 6. So in this instance, is 5 greater than 6? No, it's not, so we will get a false return. Let's see this at work on Power Automate then. Right, so we're on the Power Automate website and we have a manual trigger flow to start our flow off. Then we are setting the number variable of an integer type to 5. Then we're using a compose to use our greater function and we're passing in the variable of number which is 5. And then we're passing in the digit of 3. So we're saying is 5 greater than 3 in this instance. And then we're also doing another comparison which is um, we're using the greater function again and we're saying is 5 greater than 6 which obviously it isn't so we're expecting a true for the first one and a false for the second so let's kick this flow off okay so our flow ran successfully our digit or integer type was assigned so we have a 5 to our number variable then we have a true return so using greater, passing in the number 5 and then passing in the digit of 3. Is 5 greater than 3? Yes it is, that's true. And then the same for a comparison of 6. Is 5 greater than 6? No it's not, so we get a false return back. And that is how you use greater on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.